Good morning, YouTube. What is up? We are on our way to Stonewall Jackson, a place that should have a lot of big fish, and hopefully they're biting. Got my Starbucks there behind me. Probably hear the uh, helicopter coming in here beside the hospital. I'm parked there right now, but let's get on the road and let's get after it. All right, everyone, we just put in the water. We're on Stonewall Jackson Lake. Uh, it's actually Roanoke, West Virginia. It's about an hour and a half from where I live. It's a pretty good lake. It usually has pretty big fish in it, so that's what we're after. The water temp right now is showing 54. I expect it to warm up a little bit. I just now did put in, and it was a little colder outside. But uh, the sun's already out shining, so it's going to warm up quick. I'm going to go after the big ones up there on the shallows and see what happens. So stay tuned. Right now, I have the GoPro just set up on my dash. I may put it on my chest later. Uh, but uh, right now I'm just going to keep it on the dash and let's see what happens. Let's get after it. Fish number one, that's a keeper. Just lost one it would have been number three it was really small probably not even a keeper in a tournament but we'll count it as the third fish for the day even though i didn't land it One midday update here at Stonewall Jackson Lake, and I've got three fish in the boat. I've lost one, it's probably a non keeper anyway. But the last hour, I have found that the fish are coming up and looking at my swim bait. I have a hard body swim bait, I'll put a picture of it right here. But uh, they're not going after it per se, but they're, they're just coming up looking at it. But I just can't quite figure out what to do to catch them after I see them. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with it. We got a high sun right in the middle of the day. I anticipate to catch three or four more, maybe more. I might be good after something different, but right now I'm catching them all on a spinner bait off laydowns and uh, any type of wood, uh, especially around rocks. So wood around rocks, but they're clinging to that wood, it seems like. But uh, that's the midday update, and we'll check in here in a little bit. Little guy. First 
jig fish today. All right. All right. Day two, and I didn't end yesterday. Ended up catching five or six keepers. Got them all on the boat. I think I got them all on camera. But I messed Stonewall again today because I ended up staying here last night. So I'm gonna go out and fish for about three or four hours today, maybe a little longer if I really get on a good bite. Uh, with these conditions that have changed, probably gonna throw swim bait around a little bit more. Uh, they'll probably be roaming more instead of sticking to cover like they were yesterday, but we're gonna keep everything honest and let's see what we can do. Not exactly the right size. Be a keeper. Look how fat he is. He's been eating. You've been eating, ain't you? We'll take it. I'm not to get myself hooked here. Little guy. Been eating though. Just, I just now made the change back to a jerk bait. Uh, I'm trying to fish this riprap bank and caught one on the second or third cast. So we'll keep throwing it. And let's see what happens. Once we're finished fishing at Stonewall Jackson, I always enjoy it up here. It's only an hour and a half drive from where I live, so it's a fun drive. It's a nice lake to come fish. The potential of big bass is every single cast. I didn't get them this weekend. I didn't catch the big ones, but I did catch uh, six or seven keepers, eight and nine total. Uh, a couple small ones today. The conditions changed the fishing today, and I just didn't adapt well enough to catch them. Um, but I ended up fishing two days up here. I stayed here last night, uh, slept in, had breakfast this morning. Just took my time today, fished for about four hours today, so I didn't really fish as much today. But uh, anyhow, if you haven't done so already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.